Yeah, you know, it's a nice spider. Or Nimaweo High Calibre. Anyway, I've got 30 seconds to say this. A little intro. This is um, a Carnish Quartz mother rock that I've decimated into pieces. A bit of, a bit of study geologically for you on how to separate a mother rock without any tools. Tools are not good. Yo, 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 it's Night Spider, Goha, um, or Nimue, Goha Calibre. Anyway, this has been long coming. I've got hundreds of jewels, or whatever you want to call them, jam stones, whatever. I've got stones that look like gold. Nobody would know what they are. You know, I've got that many of them that look like different versions of gold. It would stand to reason that at least one of them has to be gold. They can't all not be gold. But anyway, that's another video for, you know, when I get round to it. So, I haven't exactly ordered this properly, to be fair. Never organized with much, you know. And and a lot of the time, I'll go get these rocks. I broke this one to get like normal crystals, but um, basically, say I go gem hunting and I come back with nine stone of gem stones. Well, that's that's nine stone of gem stones I've got to put work into. But instead of doing that. I thought, yes, I'm onto something great here. You know, when I've got the energy, I'll go back, I'll get another nine stone and another nine stone. And so on. And um, and to the point I've thought, mm, yeah, I've, I've got way too much gemstones. You know, like, I've got more gemstones than anything else. It's really mad. But, you know, we'll get around to pawning all these off to people. Because if I was to give out gemstones every day of my life, I'd probably still have gemstones left. So um, it's it's you know the system's not working properly. So I've I've got a document it all in past them on, I suppose. Um. So let's let's have a look at this one. You know, if the light was good. And I had a steady hand. It'd be so much better. And you could see what I'm looking at. But that, that little metallic look. Yeah, you know, that is that is metallic. Golden in colour. Now these stones, specifically the ones I'm going to show you. The ones that have gold-like features um i've been through a process to to check for it but you know i'm not an expert on geology but they're not magnetic so they can't be iron pyrite or if they are they don't have that much presence of iron in them it's it's hard to tell anyway Apparently, fool's gold within quartzes, um, within Cornish quartz is even more valuable than gold itself because it's rarity. I probably shouldn't have uh, smashed it to pieces for my um, my my own home training of geology and jewelry and so forth and so on. But the way I separated this rock, the mother rock was, you know, I tried with brute force and it, it really didn't separate it properly. And, and in the end, I found out about something called cold fire. Cold fire as opposed to hot. And um, 
when you rub two pieces of quartz together, electrons inside it move around little orange bits of light. Now as I was showing off, showing people this, the stone started falling to bits. Only a little bit. But in the end, when I'd done it enough, every segment where I'd done it crumbled into separated crystals that were pretty close to perfect. But, you know, the, most of the perfect ones I gave away or, or um, I sold. But I didn't sell for their value, I suppose. You know, I just I sold to just get by on food and buy more tools and stuff like that. Anyway, it's obvious where I found this, isn't it? So, we'll get on to the rest. This, this is a piece off of it from the, uh, the cold fire. I do need a better camera, to be fair. We've got loads of these pieces to come off. But um, this rock that I separated was quite a beautiful rock. You know, the, um, I suppose the geological value or whatever interest would be substantial. The, the, you could see the way it formed perfectly. Um, but, you know, I, I wasn't really documenting things at the time. I was more mesmerized by um, how lucky I was to find the, this, these mother rocks of um, quartz. And um, I've got that many mother rocks that the value of them become less valuable to me. So um, the geological study of it was more valuable than the monetary value. So I started obliterating it, and especially because it had little gold pieces in it. I thought, you know, if I want to test them. I have to, I have to be able to have them and be able to, them not be inside the stone, so. I uh, set out to take it apart. If you put your work, your um, your mind into anything, I mean, some things you might fracture and obliterate when, you're trying to. Separate them, but other things. It doesn't matter how hard someone is, you can crumble it with the right tools. Anyway, it's amazing. It's a bit like Minecraft. I love it. I love this sort of thing. Especially scenes as of, um, I've got a little streak of good luck with it. You know. Yep. But you know, I should have put this into my little dragon paw because it looks like a claw. You know, I'll put I didn't even think it's quartz, I think it's in the wrong place. Now, a lot of these stones here. I'm either keeping for myself, but I think these specific ones I'm giving away. Because, yeah, yeah it's like a spiritual thing, you know, got to spread the, um, the goodness. You know, and, and I don't really deal with quartz much. Um, only for um, spirituality, really, and um, charging crystals, that's what it's good for. Charging other gemstones in the spiritual sense. Or mystical sense. If your gemstone runs out of power. 
quartz is um, always powered. It's um, piezoelectric, so the air waves can charge it, basically. Kinetic energy, everything. And then it can power other things. It's used in electronics for this purpose. It's not just a mystical thing. It's um, scientific. And I had loads of these, even smaller ones, like totally clear, you know, they, they just look beautiful. But, you know, I uh, gave them away and sold them. I didn't sell them for their cryptocurrency value, because they're crypto crystals. I sold them just, you know, just a little, like it's nothing. Because it come out the ground, didn't it? You know, we got it for free. It's hardly, it's hardly mine to set a price on, in a way. You know, but people say all the hard work I put in, and hours and whatnot, I deserve to get money. But, you know, who knows, in it? Who knows what people deserve? But, I do know. that I've got that many crystals I got semi boards with it you know it's um yeah it's I, I more like it to mesmerize other people because I, I've lost um the uh, I can I can recognize perfection but I'm not that mesmerized I, I suppose I take it for granted a little bit you know but then you would do if um, you've got thousands of gemstones. It, it would it only be good as a gift, I suppose. Like I need to mess with the pigments in my fucking phone. And there we go, a little shine. So this is all um, Cornish Quartz, you know, I'm not going to say where I found it. Some people know, some people don't. We'll call it a secret location, a private location. But it wouldn't really matter if you went to this location looking for it because it wasn't exactly in the ground, it was tidal and um, I would say it floated in on the tide. So who knows where it come from? Come on, work. In moments like this, I think, do I just, you know, tap my phone with my nose? Because there's nothing else I can do. <clears throat> yeah, well, you know, you can see what I'm trying to show you. You know, it's a tiny little crystal. Oh, there we go. Bit of exposure now, isn't it? What, what the heck is my fucking camera doing? What a bastard. Come on, work. Work. I like this crystal. It's like a little paw. Anyway, you know, I do, I do, what the fuck's that? You know, it could have been anything, it could have been great. What's this? Let me have a look at this first. That should really be on my dragon as well. Alright. 
Look, uh, another piece. A lot of this, because of the shape of it, it's good for my dragon. And then and even even like pieces like this, maybe, I suppose, yeah, maybe. But I love it. You know they say um, we didn't we didn't know what shapes were in all this crap. And what are you on about? You know the amount of jams are cool that have uniform shape. You know, just so of course like nature design shape. There's there's plenty of shapes. You know, it's all within nature. All the shape. Yeah, you wouldn't need schools if um, they said to you, you can learn without a school of learning. But, you know, I'll get political a bit and I probably shouldn't. But honestly, I think if the things I've learned on my own, why, why could they not teach us in school? Because the shit they taught me in school wasn't really going to make me any money. And, you know, it, it didn't really help at all. It was just um, an introduction to adult life, I suppose. And um, the bullshit that comes along with it. If they said, go to the beach every day. And hope to God you find someone special. By the law of averages, you would eventually find something special. If you look for something, you'll find it. You know, that's the way it goes. So yeah, all these are off the same rock. And there's um there's another piece, there's this piece. See. And this is how it looked. It looked awesome when I first had it. It was like a brick, like a square cube, basically. It looked like some kind of power cube, you know. If it was a thing, you know, if you could plug quartz in as a power cube, it looked quite uniform. But, you know, I'd say it was tucked in a vein that broke recently, like the outer casing of the vein broke and released the mother rock, or there was some seismic activity that released it from the vein. And... Um, I would imagine there'd be quite a lot of this, wherever this vein is. But the rock itself... Is somewhat light. It was this, um... Black residue. I was calling it titanium carbide at one point, but... You know, I, I don't know what I was on about, like... Might be totally wrong. So, I had, a, I had a door call. So, I will get back into this. And I just, um, so I had this one, blah, blah, blah. Little bits of gold in it, and the black stuff. And then, this one. It was huge. It was like a big, you know, chunk, you know, out there, basically, right? And then, um, what I used was, I used this. But this isn't for, you know, stone masonry, really, at all. You know, um, so, I used that to go through it. And um, I used 
this to do the work. A four pound lump hammer, or I think it's got another name, but you know, it's uh, well, the, that doesn't really matter. And then, um, you know, that was before I knew you could take it apart with its own rock. You could perform something called cold fire. And um, apparently the tribal people used to put quartz in bags or whatever, you know, like, I don't know, like stomach skin or whatever. And, um, you know, like hundreds of them going about in the dark dancing away with their little quartz bags and um, you could see an orange fire or you know cold fired orange light or whatever you know but I, I've done this in the dark and um, I mean maybe in absolute darkness where there's no cities or nothing like that it the the light would be brighter potentially but you know in the darkness of my room in in the shade it's um you can see it, but I don't think it would be seen for miles, you know, but I suppose maybe it would, if if, it, if you were in the, the abyss of nothingness. Anyway, who cares, you know, the, nobody, nobody can say what would happen, you know, um, but the integrity of the rock itself destroys itself. So, I suppose you would get down to... You would get down to things like this, and then when they're rattling about in these fucking bags or whatever, or, you know, sticks, they would, um, the integrity would only, like, destroy, like, this bit. And, and then the, the crystal itself probably wouldn't break because it's com got complete integrity. Um, we got another piece here. But, you know, a lot of it, I probably did break in ways that wasn't a good thing. I should have, um, I should have used cold fire from the beginning. You know. Um, you know, I show people this rock and they're like, oh my god, you're so lucky, like, I can't believe you found this rock, but, you know, um, yeah, here, here's another rock, and, uh, okay, it's not as good as, like, you know, it's not, it's, it's not like, you know, oh, look how it's formed, it's fucking awesome, and there's so many segmented crystals and whatnot, but, you know, it still has a pretty cool crystal coming out the top of it. And, um, you know, there are crystals inside it that I suppose I could take apart with cold fire. But I think there's so much sediment bullshit within it. Getting the cold fire to utilize quartz to quartz would be hard because I don't think there's actually much much quartz in this. I think most of it is, um, you know, sedimentary crap and um, feldspar and iron, and and then the quartz itself would be this piece. So maybe if I use cold fire on this piece, it wouldn't break, but it would just break out of the whole thing, you know. And then this piece, I think it must have come off. It can't have come off there. It could have actually. But who knows, but look, you know. It come off some piece, didn't it? So I've got, I've got this other piece with, with more little jamstone things. Well, pieces of quartz. Yeah. Clusters of quartz. A little cluster. And then... 
another piece. Take it over there. It's a um, metallic. The metallic something or other. We'll call it that. But remember, fool's gold within carnished quartz is worth more than gold within quartz because of its rarity. So either way, it's 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 spot on, isn't it? Anyway. But I just use gold for um rituals for my religion. And um, they say, well, I'm not going to say what they say, because, you know, I, I don't want to speculate on things that might or might not be. But there, there's more metallic stuff here. I mean, it could be anything. They would say it's iron because of the black within it, but iron isn't silver. So, who knows? But I believe I've um, tr like tested this as well, and, and the silver hasn't tarnished. So, so it might have tarnished. Let's say it was silver. Then it probably has tarnished. It's gone dull. Would be potentially a way of maybe. People say I should study geology, but the study of geology isn't done in a university or a classroom. It's um, it's done in the fields. So I'm already studying geology. And um, being able to use platforms to do it may as well be having students the world over to ask like stuff about and share knowledge and so on and blah blah blah. You know, it's it's a uh, it's why go open university when if everything can be open anyway. This is a um, slice. And um, a quartz. This is probably the back piece of this. I mean, it might not be, but I think it is. One of the... <coughs> it looks about right. Right, so big piece. So one side wasn't, you know, as uniform. So there's another piece in there. Well, God knows, you know, so, but this stone was about that big, when I found it, it was, um, I was so amazed, I was like laughing and crying at the same time, I was like, wow, look at what I found, I was dropping it in, um, Somebody tried to claim it off me, and I told them it was a public place, and it was tidal anyway. It was anybody's, and it was mine. It was finders keepers, and um, it's a nautical sea law. You find anything tidal, it's finders keepers. You know, it's not a, it's not a nursery rhyme. It's it's it, it's um, admiral law. It's it's um, nautical law, or whatever, mariner's law. And all that. So. I think that's about it. I mean. I'm so happy because. 
this is more an obligation because I knew this video would take ages, you know. But because this these stones are pretty much all the pieces that I've segmented out of mother rocks, um, I won't have to do a video this long again. I really, I hate it. I hate, I hate like, the, you know, I just hate things taking ages. It does my head in. And yeah, but if you fancy any stone, you know, put it in the comments and, and you know, um, I'll give you it in it. I'll sell you it for a quid. How about that? You know, or um, I'll pawn it off to whoever is like a hundredth subscriber or hundredth comment or something like that, you know. Um, yeah. That's it. But they'll all be going because I've got too many gems. But way too many.